Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rupinder Syal and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. So today we are going to talk about a very important topic in biochemistry that is a source of a lot of confusion among biochemistry students as well as people who like to deny science and poke holes in the scientific logic. So the criticism is about the second law of thermodynamics which is a very well recognized, well proven law. Okay, so it's pretty much set in stone. There have been no exceptions to it. And the second law of thermodynamics basically states that in all natural processes, the entropy of the universe increases. So the focus is on the universe as well as the increase in entropy. Now I want to clarify a few things here first. So natural processes means any spontaneous process. And universe here does not mean the whole universe, the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy. No, we are not talking about that. We are only talking about a system that we are studying and its surroundings. So for example, if we take a kettle filled with warm water along with the room where it is kept, that is the universe that we are going to talk about. And similarly for human body or any animal body or plant body, any organism, the immediate surroundings of that organism plus that organism is the universe. So the second law of thermodynamics says that if in order for any spontaneous process to happen and in case it happens, of course it happens, the entropy of the universe increases. The entropy of the total system plus surroundings increases. Now this seems, you know, a little bit counterintuitive. The idea was first proposed by Rudolf Clausius in 1865 and entropy as he defined was referring to the disorderness or uh, randomness of a system. So for example, if we take, for example, a tiny, well-organized room, that is kind of a room you, or system you can consider with low entropy. And on the other hand, if we consider like a cluttered room, disordered room, right? Like for example, you might found, find in dorm rooms or hostels, right? Those are examples of high entropy surroundings. So if you look at the human system or organisms, living organisms, it does not seem like they are following the second law of thermodynamics because if you look at even the simplest organisms for example viruses bacteria even our protein molecules dna molecules they are highly structured right dna molecules are so long they have this compact organization every cell has a nucleus golgi complex er ribosomes all the stuff which is very very tightly regulated and there are intricate structures forming in living organisms all the time so do living organisms violate the second law of thermodynamics? That's what many science deniers and that's what many you know, people who are not very familiar with the concepts of biochemistry seem to think. But actually that's not true because the emphasis, if you think about it, it's on the universe, which is the system plus surroundings. So if the total entropy of system plus surroundings increases, there is no problem. And that's what actually living organisms do. They take in food or uh, food uh, materials whether it be sunlight or inorganic nutrients in case of bacteria or plants or for example other organisms in case of herbivores carnivores omnivores like us we take food molecules we take you know these nutrients and we catabolize them we process them through our metabolism and what we do is we use them to make our own tissues our own molecules so we use them for example to produce new red blood cells, new muscles, new tissues, new skin, you know, new gut lining, everything, right? But here is where the, uh, you know, interesting part is because this is where entropy is decreasing. Of course, it, it leads to more order, you know, a huge DNA molecule as compared to just single nucleotides, it's highly ordered. Right? The solution is increased entropy outside. So here is the solution to that problem. Living organisms produce a lot of heat, random heat, which is unusable. It does not apply for the, for example, Gibbs free energy, which is available to do useful work. And they also produce a lot of simple waste compounds, urea, ammonia, uric acid, urine, poop, you name it, right? All of these substances, they are not very complicated. They are very simple organisms. Uh, they are very simple compounds. Right? And they are highly rich in entropy and that's what causes the increase in entropy. So our, you know, 
so to say account books they have complete you know uh, in agreement with the single law of thermodynamics because we have the uh, increased entropy outside and decreased entropy or increased order inside of the living organisms all right so i hope that clarifies some doubts of the biochemistry students as well as it gives a strong reply to people who deny the you know applicability of living organisms and their uh, you know uh, adherence to the natural laws of physics and chemistry we definitely obey all the laws of physics and chemistry just like non living things do okay so i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe to my channel hope to see you soon take care bye bye